Hi, welcome to the I Built to Instructional video. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of how this web application works. First off, this site was built to be easy to use. For navigation, the site has or the site was split into a couple options. There's the main navigation and the sub navigation. As you can see here, the main navigation would be these larger buttons to the upper left hand corner, and the sub navigations would be just below that. So for each of the main navigation options, there would be a bunch of different sub navigations, but for the home page that does not apply. So for login, you have three sub navigation options. You have the login, you have lost password and help. With lost password, all you have to do is enter your email address, click the lost password, and an email will be sent to you with a link on how you can reset your password. Next, you'll notice that there's a help sub navigation. This is where the instructional video is placed, which you're probably watching right now. So I'll go back to the login. The new is self-explanatory. You just click new, and you'll see that there's an extra password box that popped up. Just enter your password twice to verify that's the correct password and then your account is created. So since I already have an account I'm going to go ahead and log in. As you can notice uh, the site didn't have to do any kind of traditional post back and wait which means the site is completely asynchronous. So after the initial load the site will load very fast on Wi-Fi and it'll load pretty quick on Edge Network. So as you can see here, the main navigation are the top buttons, and then the sub navigations are below it. So as you can see, I'm on the home page, and the home page will have a Did You Know section, announcements, and a coming soon. Did You Know just gives you a quick uh, little bit of information that tells you how you can maybe better use this application. The announcements kind of just fills you in on what might have changed with the application. And then coming soon are items that people have requested and I agree that should be added to the site. Then at the lower part of the screen you'll notice that there's a place where you can email me. Just click the link which will bring up your email and just shoot me an email and let me know what you would like to see added to the site or if there's something that could make your everyday use a little bit better. And then also of course there's the log off button at the far bottom of the screen. You'll also look for so sub navigation for this option for home. You'll see that you can change your password here. And there's also settings. In the settings, you're, there's only one option so far, and that's for login expiration. What this does is you can tell I built to how long to keep your session open. So you have the option for 30 minutes, 2 hours, 4 hours, 6 hours, and never. What that means is that when you power down your phone, when you jump off the application, you have to take a call. When you come back, the application will not log you out for that amount of time. So I always leave mine to never. And all I have to do is click your save button to save those changes. Now next, let's move on to the uh, information setup. This is where you can add clients, projects, rates. Um, and this should be very easy to use. Just in the add button. Next to the add button, there's a text box. Just add an entry. I'll call mine test, test. And then click add. Now you saw that it's synchronously updated and if you look in the drop down you should see your new entry test test. If you wanted to add it, edit that entry just click the edit button and now you'll notice you're into an edit mode where save and cancel kind of glow and this is where you can save your information or edit this. And then I click cancel to get out of it but then you can also click save to save it. And then the same is true for projects and rates. Okay, next I'm going to move on to doing a quick bill and a full bill. As you notice, those are the two sub navigation items listed. All your clients or existing client projects rates are in the drop down box, as you can see in the middle of the screen. A uh, description field that you can enter in or you don't have to, and then hours worked. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave the default items in there. And I think I only have one rate. Yep. And then for description, I'm just going to enter test. And I'm going to call it test 10. And then hours worked. I'm going to say I worked an hour. Now you notice the hours worked is pulling today's current time for your time zone. So right now mine's 4.50 p.m. and it added an hour onto it. So it'll tell me my end time should be 5.50 p.m. 
I find this very useful so I can kind of gauge how long I should be at a client's site and get my work done in that amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and add this entry. When entry is added successfully, you should get a pop-up pop up message saying entry added. All I have to do is click OK, and now everything's initialized again and ready for another entry. Let's go to full bill. Full bill is a way for you to further customize your billing options. So you still have the client project rate as you've seen before, description. There is also a date. If you wanted to override today's date and put something else in, you could. So if I wanted to go to if I wanted to go to April 25th, enter that date, and you also notice now that start time has popped up. So if you need to override that 4:51 p.m. and I want to say I know I'm going to work at 5 p.m. on that day, and it'll be 5 o'clock sharp, and I know I'm going to work two hours. Now you'll notice that my end time should be 7 p.m. You can add this feature dated entry and it behaves just like QuickBill. Now let's go on to the last feature and this is reporting and emailing. Uh, what this does is allow you to view all of your existing entries that you've added and be able to edit or delete them. So with this one I'm going to view my entries. So I'll list everything I've got. And I shouldn't have too much information just a bunch of test records in there. And you'll also notice that some of them have been have not been billed and some that have been billed. And uh, let me go into each of these options. With the edit, that's pretty much what it does. If you click edit, it'll let you go in and change the settings that you entered previously. And if that all looks good, you can click save. Otherwise, I'm not going to save anything. I'll click cancel out. And that brings us back to this entry. And let's say you said that you already worked this and you build the client. You just click build and there you go. The person has been billed. There's also the delete option which allows you to delete an entry and also confirms to make sure you didn't want to delete that on accident. So all your entries should be listed here. And in the case you have more than 10 items, you will see a, a bottom right and a bottom left arrow. The bottom right will let you go to the next page and you will notice that the result numbers will increase from 10 to 11 through whatever, so you can just go forward or back. That's all the buttons do at the bottom. So I did try to make this extremely easy to use, finger friendly for the iPhone and iPod Touch. And then the last option I'll show you is the email entries. This will be nice if you need to email yourself maybe all of your unbilled entries. So when I click email entries, it's going to generate an email and send it to you. When you receive the email, you should see an attachment that's an HTML document with a table inside of it showing all your entries. What's nice about this attachment is that you can open this up in Excel and just copy and paste away into your own invoice, invoicing system or uh, invoice spreadsheet. And or you could also open this up into OpenOffice Calc. And I believe there's some kind of importing wizard that allows you to import HTML tables into the spreadsheet. Um, I did read up on that, so uh, that's it. That's the I build to application. More items are going to be coming soon, so please let me know if you see anything that needs to be added or if you have any ideas or suggestions. Thanks!